187 cars are lined up on pit road, and that can only mean one thing. It's time for another round of Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series Racing. We're live from the world's fastest short track in Iowa, the Iowa Raceway. Getting ready for some racing. And hello, everybody. My name is Jack Roberts. Hello, so my great co-host, Jack Scott Miles and Connor Speed. Good evening, everybody. I'm Scott Miles, and I'm Connor Speed. We're here at the New, in New Iowa at the Iowa Raceway, getting ready for the to race the number 400 at the world's fastest short track. The, it's the fastest short track on the planet, and they and it's lived up to that nickname for so long. IndyCar, NASCAR Xfinity Series, and NASCAR Trucks have stopped here. This is the first time ever the Cup Series is racing in Iowa. So before we get down to the racing, let's go take a look at some of your drivers to watch for. And this week is brought to you by Sunoco. Sunoco, following victory. Neon Racing hasn't had a lot to talk about or celebrate over, but Al Majoli seems to be the lone highlight that team has. Al Majoli's making his debut from an Iowa Raceway in the Cup car as he's familiar with this in Xfinity and trust how Al Majoli fair out tonight and will he win in Iowa? Kyle Busch has not had a great outing here in the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series, especially after last week's DNF in Indianapolis. How will Kyle Busch do tonight in Iowa as he tries to win an ASNCS race? Brad Keselowski has not won an Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series race yet. However, coming off of winning the NASCAR Brick Cup Series, Bojangles Southern 500 and Brickyard 400 back to back, he's riding a wave of momentum coming into this race. Will Brad Keselowski finally snap the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series demons tonight and win this race? Last year, Tama Jeske Dave made his big NASCAR debut in the Iowa Raceway. Now he's looking to conquer the track that he made his debut at. Will Tama Jeske snap the, snap the chase and win tonight? Bubba Wallace has not raced at this track since 2015, so it's going to be very interesting to see how he fares out in tonight's race. Will Bubba Wallace find a way to victory lane tonight? Kyle Larson has not raced in Iowa since 2014. Four years later, he's looking to steal the show. Can he pull the win off here in Iowa tonight? And that will do it for the pre-race show. We now take your track side for opening ceremonies. Race, race fans, fans, at this, at this time, time, we ask, we ask that you that please you rise and remove your hats in honor of the fallen, fallen soldiers, soldiers of our, of our great, great nation. nation. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars Through the perilous flight O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home. And now, now it's time now, for the most famous ones in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! Twenty-seven cars were to life on pit road, and now it's time to go take a look at the starting lineup. Brought to you by Nerf. It's Nerf or nothing. Row 2 has Kyle Larson starting third, Casey Atwood.
Wood starting fourth. Row three, Martin Truex Jr. starts fifth. Ryan Blaney starts sixth. Row four, Matt Kenseth starts seventh. Brad Keselowski starts eighth. Rounding out the top ten, starting ninth, Darrell Wallace Jr. and tenth, Kurt Busch. Starting a race in row number six, you have Tony Majeski starting 11th, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. 12th, row 7, Nicole Bihar, 13th, Alan Lucio is 14th, row 8 has Jimmy Johnson starting 15th, Justin Allgaier 16th, row 9, Kevin Harvick starts 17th, Connor Daly starts 18th, rounding out the top 20 and 19th, Natalie Decker 20th, Chase Elliott. In row 11, starting 21st is Ryan Hunter Ray, starting 22nd is Casey Kane. In row number 12, starting 23rd, Landon Castle, 24th, Trevor Bain. In row 13, 25th, Alex Bowman, 26th, Paige Decker. Rounding out the field today is Scott Speed in the number 13 car. And now it's time to go take a look at your onboard cameras. Alan Michelli carries the Chevrolet onboard camera, and Alex Bowman carries the Exalta onboard camera. Paige Decker carries the XI batteries onboard camera. Natalie Decker will carry the Dodge on board camera. They're going to be joined by Ryan Blaney with the Ford EcoBoost on board camera and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. with the Sunny D on board camera. Kyle Busch carries the M&Ms on board camera. And finally, Martin Truex Jr. carries the Toyota on board camera. We are moments away from the green flag here in Iowa Raceway. And the Nerf 400 pace car is going to peel down the pit road. Green flag's in the air and away we go! We're racing in Iowa! Kyle Larson on the jump early three wide early on here. It's off, it's off the bat. Fine, Truex Jr. trying to get him out. Larson gets him on all four. He'll lead lap one here in Iowa. Now Wallace to the inside of the race right now. He gets in front of Tom Majeski. He'll take the lead. Larson with a run. Now it's not going to be enough. But we'll be behind the leaders. It's Jimmy Johnson going for a slide in the grass. He'll save it. But it will bring up the caution as they have to clean up the track from all the grass that Johnson brought onto the raceway. Jimmy Johnson got loose, slides up, and will keep going. So we're getting ready for the lap five restart. Now Pace Car peels back down the pit road. They're going to see the green flag is back through the air. Bobo Wallace gets a great jump on the, on the restart. But Jesse goes three wide. Larson's there. And now they're still fighting three wide for the lead. They're still three wide for the lead. And Tru Kyle Larson leads that lap with a shove from Truex Jr. Here comes with Jesse with a run. Truex Jr. side by side with Kyle Larson. He'll take the lead. Trouble. And Kansas and Joey Legano will go for a spin. And that's going to bring out the caution for the second time tonight. And um, let's see what happened here. Matt Kenseth actually slides loose, gets into Joey Logano, so they're victims of, of circumstance. Getting ready for the lap. Nine restart. Pace car peels back down the pit road. Connor take this one away. The green flies back in the air. Truex here on the jump. Kyle Larson not letting him get away, though. Here they go. Side by side for the lead. Here comes Wallace with a shove from the help from Decker. He'll, Natalie Decker leads that lap. Wallace takes the lead away. Nice move. Crossover from Decker. She'll take the lead back. Oh, trouble. Oh, Joey's up and over. And that's going to bring up the caution. Natalie Decker leads everyone to the strike. And that brings out our third caution of the race. It's hard to tell what happened to Al Macholi. All we know is that he flipped. Oh, Kyle Busch got into the back of Macholi. Macholi went up and over. Natalie Decker beat everybody to the strike. Pit road is open. Kelly, what's going on? And thanks, guys. Right now, Scott Speed has just entered my section of pit road, saying that his car is way too tight. So his crew is trying to loosen him up by taking off the back bar and leg. They're leaving the rubber untouched. They just they gave him four fresh junior stops. And all of a sudden, they'll go, fuel Scott Speed. saying that his car is loose in one and tight in three. So right now the crew is trying to balance it out, much like what Atwood was complaining about. So the crew just putting on fresh Goodyear tires, topping them off with Sunoco fuel, added some adjustments. Atwood is... Keselowski is gone. 
Okay, Connor Daly just pulled into my section of pit road. He's saying that his car is tight in one and three, so they're trying to loosen him up for the entrance of the turns. They just put on four fresh good gears, topped him off with Sunoco fuel. Connor Daly is pulled away. Finally, Kurt Busch in my section of pit road. His crew working on the right side of the car. Kurt Busch saying that his car is great. Do not touch it. So they're going to just put four fresh good gears on. Now they're topping them off as an Oko Field. The last of the Lug Knights are tightened, tightened up. Kirk Bush is down and away, Tyler. And thanks, Calvin. Right now, Landon Castle has just rolled into my section of pit road. They're working on the right side of the car. Now they swing around to the left side of the car and taking out some track bar and wedge. As he, Landon Castle said his car is tight, they topped him off with fuel. At Wood, Landon Castle is gone. Jimmy Johnson's pulled into my section of pit road. Now he works, his crew's working on the right side. Chad Canals. Jimmy and Jimmy Johnson talking about the car. Johnson said the car was great, so they're only doing four tires and fuel. They've talked him off with Sonoco Field. Jimmy Johnson has just pulled away. Kyle Lawson right now saying that he is that his car is amazing out in front, but once it gets back in air, it's loose, so they're tightening him up in case they go back behind the leaders. They've they're adding four, they put four fresh good years on, topped them off with fuel. Kyle Lawson's pulled away. Paul said that Kyle Bush just, just pulled in. He's saying that his car has been is awful, just downright awful, and they don't know what to do, so they're just putting on four fresh good years. They have to they're topping off with Sonoka the field. The last of the luck nuts are tightened up. Kyle Bush pulls away. And here is the Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series Race Off Pit Road brought to you by Advocare. Kyle Bush wins the race off pit road. Kyle Larson rolls off second. Rolling off third, Jimmy Johnson. Kurt Bush fourth. Chase Elliott fifth. Brad Keselowski sixth. Seventh, Joey Logano. Eighth, Landon Castle. Ninth, Casey Atwood. And Justin Allgaier rolls off tenth. And we're ready to go for the lap 13 restart. Natalie Decker will lead us to the green flag. The pace car appeals down the pit road and green flag back in the air. Bubba Wallace quickly gets to the inside. He'll take the lead away. He'll get in front of Natalie Decker. Now Blaney with a run on uh, four. He'll take the lead and lead lap 13. Lap 14 is, on the, is underway. Decker to the outside of Wallace. Now she shows the block. Here comes Majesty with a run. Oh, Joe Kyle Bush is blue engine. Kyle Bush is engine let go. That brings out the fourth caution of the race. And Kyle Busch, for no rhyme or reason, just had his engine let go on him. And that's going to bring out the caution. As they clean up, we have great news. Alan Majoli is back in the race. And his team will return to the track. P26, four laps down. And we get ready for the lap 17 restart. The pace car will peel down the pit road. Time I just leads us to the green flag. It's back in the air. Ty Majeski gets on a roll, but Natalie Decker won't let him get away. She'll get a run on the outside. Here comes Jimmy Johnson on the inside. There's three laps for the lead, rolling up turn four. Natalie Decker will lead that lap. Three laps to go. Three laps to go here in Iowa as they head back for turn number three. Trouble chase, how he goes around. Ty Majeski will lead us to the caution flag with two laps to go, and we're going to overdrive as Chase Elliott crosses the stripe now. Take a look at what happened to Chase Elliott. Trevor Bain gets into the back of him, turns him, and he just goes loose. And now it's time to take a look at the Alpine Stars NASCAR Overdrive NASCAR Alpine Stars NASCAR Cup Series Overdrive rules. Normal 2018 restart rules apply for this for Overdrive. Green flag will fly with just two laps to go. Drivers cannot advance their position before entering the restart zone or change lanes before they cross the start finish line. If the caution flag flies before the leader takes the white flag, the, we will line up double file and and go for another attempt. If the caution flag flies as the leader crosses the start finish line. The race is over, and where the drivers cross the start finish line is where they will finish the race. If a caution flag flies after the leader takes the white flag, instant example, turn one, the race is over. However, drivers will be given the chance to race back to the checkered flag. And we have an unlimited number of tries to finish this race, to finish the race under green flag conditions. And here we go, getting ready for the lap 21 restart. The pace car appeals down to Pear Road, and the green flag is back in the air. Ty Majeski gets on the jump. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. dives to the inside, making it three wide for the lead. Side by side now with the Rush Fenway car. Stenhouse with a run on four. He'll lead us to the white flag. Four turns to go here in Iowa. Majeski and Stenhouse get loaded into the wall. The Fenway cars crash. They go flag is out. They race back to the stripe. Off four they go. Alex Bowman will see the checkered flag and win in Iowa. And for Alex Bowman, it's his first win in the Alpine Stars Pass Car Cup Series and the third win for team number 88. As he smokes it down and drives away, he's going to do the Polish victory lap. The Polish victory lap was a tradition started by Alan Kowicki 
when he won his first race. NASCAR told him not to do it again, and Alan Kubicki said that he would not do it again until he won the championship, which he did in 1992. And the so we do this in honor to honor Alan Kubicki. And Alex Bowman parked it at the start finish line, and now the, the car is in victory lane, and the celebration is on. Congratulations to Alex Bowman and the 88 team on the big win. And now it's time to take a look at the unofficial race results for the NERF 400 here in Iowa Raceway. Alex Bowman will win the race, finishing first. Natalie Decker comes home second, a very close second too. Joey Logano comes home, brings it back to third. Jimmy Johnson will finish fourth, Kurt Busch fifth, sixth. Darrell Wallace Jr. finishing seventh will be Nicole Vihar. Eighth going to Martin Truex Jr. Ninth going to the closer, Kevin Harvick. Rounding out the top ten, Kyle Larson. Finishing a race in 11th, Paige Decker, or 12th place going to Casey Payne, 13th going to Ryan Blaney, 14th going to Matt Kenton, 15th going to Ryan Hunter Ray, 16th going to Chase Elliott, 17th going to Brad Keselowski, finishing the race, 18th is Trevor Bean, 19th going to Landon Castle, and running up the field in the top 20 is Casey Atwood, 21st Justin Allgaier, 22nd Scott Smith. 23rd going to Connor Daly, finishing the race in 24th, Ty Majeski, who did not finish with a crash on the last lap. 25th, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., who crashed out with Ty Majeski on the last lap. 26th, Tom Jolie Hill finished three laps down. Kyle Busch didn't finish with an engine failure late in the race, and he will finish in 27th. And that will do it for the unofficial race results. Now let's go take a look at the point standings after race 5 of 14. And there's been a massive shakeup at the points, at the top of the points um, after this race. Now at the top of the points is Kyle Larson. He will lead us down. Mark Truex Jr. trails him by one point. Chase Elliott's now third. Brian Blaney fourth. Nicole B. Hard fifth. Sixth place going to Matt Kenton. Seventh going to Kevin Harvick. Eighth place Jimmy Johnson. Ninth place in points. Kurt Busch running at the top ten in points is Justin Allgaier. Better going in 11th is Casey Payne. Twelfth place Daryl Wallace Jr. Thirteenth Frank Keselowski. Fourteenth Alan Lugioli. 15th, Alex Bowman with the big win. Trevor Bain, 16th. 17th, Joey Logano. 18th, Ryan Hunter Ray. 19th, Ty Majeski. Rounding out the top 20 in points is Jamie McMurray. 21st, Clint Boyer. 22nd, Alexander Rossi. 23rd, Natalie Decker. 24th, Paige Decker. 25th, William Byron. 26th, Leigh Earnhardt Jr. Kyle Busch rounds out the top 27. 28th, Austin Dillon. 29th, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Rounding out the top 30 is Ryan Newman. 31st, Landon Castle. 32nd, Casey Atwood. 33rd, Scott Speed. 34th, Connor Daly. 35th, Simona G. Silvestro. 36th, Tyler Reddick. 37th, Cole Custer. 38th, going to Brennan Poole. 39th, Reed Sorensen. And rounding out the top 40 is Matt DiBenedetto. Will Power, 41st. 42nd, James Hinchcliffe. 43rd, Ryan Reed. And rounding out the points. And 44th is David Starr. And we thank you for watching. When we meet up again, it'll be another edition of Sunday Night NASCAR with the Exalta 400 live from the Motor City Raceway in Detroit, Michigan. So on behalf of our camera crews, our pick reporters, and my great co-host, Scott Miles and Jack Roberts, I'm Connor Speed, signing out for now, saying so long, and that means good night, satellite, transmission, and now.